Um, Mr. Alexander, a question for you. Um, Ms. Ballantyne spoke about the high uptake in Norway, you know, always cited as an example, uh, 93 to 95% uptake on, uh, on, on the childcare program. Do you know or can you project that with a similar uptake in Canada, if we ever get to that, that we will also experience a bump in our domestic birth rate? So I, you know, country, you know, countries are not the same, mm -hmm. right? So when I, when I think about the potential bump to labor participation in Canada, what I basically look at is, um, you know, where labor participation is for men relative to labor participation for, for women. And, you know, when I, when I look at, when I look at that and look at where it stands today, even if you get a, a, you know, an increase in labor participation of women of only one to one to two percentage points, which would be still well dramatic, you know, significantly less than than in than in Norway, you're looking at adding about ninety thousand more women to the labor market, right? So you 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 are going to get a like a a big bounce out of that. Pierre Fortin has done some modeling which says which looks at sort of the Quebec experience and simply says. What if we have, you know, what if we replicate the Quebec experience across the rest of Canada? And the number he gets is closer to three hundred thousand, right? So, the the thing I would the thing I would stress is that even if I use the most conservative numbers, I actually get a very I, I get a very big increase in both in in labor participation and 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 in outcomes. So, you know, I I, I fundamentally I think edu education is the great enabler. And I also think that that the that some of the barriers that women face, not all of them, but some of the barriers women face, is related to the fact that they they carry disproportionately the 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 burden of uh, of care of children. So am I am I being naive in assuming that if we make it easier for people to have children and have them looked after, that that Canadians will have more babies? I, I, I have no idea whether it would ha whether it would have an impact on the fertility rate. If it if it if it you know if it if it doesn't, right? Mm -hmm. you're, we're going to have a good return on investment. If it does, we're going to have an even better return on investment. Okay. 